Okay, today is um, Proverbs 4, um, because it's the 4th of November. Uh, what stood out to me today was Proverbs 4, 24. Put away from you a deceitful mouth, and put perverse lips far from you. Now, I've heard this scripture used um, in reference to people who use bad language, who swear, and who um, obviously lie. But more so people, you know, with bad language and say rude things, perverse lips being the bit, you know, that, that gets focused on, the main point of focus. Um, but we miss out the deceitful mouth. And then we reserve the deceitful mouth for like, like the worst case scenario, like for compulsive liars. Oh, that's a deceitful mouth. Put them away from you. I'm not sure that's what this is warning us about. And so I'm going to have a quick moment to look at the word deceit. Deceit, uh, the action or practice of deceiving someone by concealing or misrepresenting the truth. An example being a web of deceit. Hypocrisy and deceit were anathema to her. Hmm. Deceitful. Let's look at deceitful. Guilty of or involving deceit. Deceiving or misleading others. A deceitful politician. Such an act would have been deceitful and irresponsible. Deceit. Now, this is where it gets a little bit uh, deep for some, uncomfortable for others. Many of us are listening to um, pastors, preachers, teachers, bishops, <laughs> dare I say apostles, whatever. People with title, people whom we respect and I understand why we respect them and I don't suggest that we stop respecting them unless of course you feel like you shouldn't respect them um but, but you know people we like people we have grown affinity to we are fans of etc etc who every now and again say something that goes against the word of God so in essence doesn't this become a deceitful mouth when uh, certain people have hold doctrines that are not affirmed by scripture um again look up the word eisegesis and exegesis and basically it means either to draw out of the text the meaning or to embed your own meaning to the text now a lot of preachers a lot of well-respected preachers and teachers and i'm not going to use the word again <laughs> but people with titles a lot of them approach the bible in a way whereby here's what i want to discuss today and so here's the scripture that I'm going to bend to mean what I want to say. And that's called eisegesis. So many people are doing this. And I'm wondering, and I'm inviting you to ask yourself the question and to, you know, to dig a bit deeper, you know, beneath the surface. Is this a deceitful mouth? Is this the kind of mouth that Proverbs 4 and 24 is warning us to put far from us, far from you. Put away from you a deceitful mouth and put perverse lips far from you. Put it away from you. And so I'm going to make this challenge to you. The next time somebody says something about your pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle, pope, whomever, rather than to get on their defence, Get into the word of God and see if the thing that is being said to you have any basis. You know, we don't deal with slander. Nah, we're not up for that. But if somebody is making a claim against somebody who you respect, surely, surely the word of God mandates that you get into the scriptures to see if this accusation is true. To see if what is alleged is factual. Um, because if it is, maybe God today, via Proverbs 4.24, is telling you to put that mouth away from you. To put those perverse lips far from you. Oh, let's look at the word perverse. Should we look at pervert real quick? P-E-R-V-E-R-T. Okay, so to pervert, distort or corrupt the original course, meaning or state of something. 
he was charged with conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. Leads someone away from what is considered natural or acceptable. Hector is a man who is simply perverted by his time. Perverted. Right? Pervert, perverted. So I think these are really big words in this, um, in this scripture. And what we need to understand is, by definition, a deceitful mouth is the same as perverse lips. Let's just get to let's just get to the heart of it. Let's just call a spade a spade. Let's just ask the big question. Is your pastor deceitful and perverse? Does your pastor have a deceitful mouth and perverse lips? Now you may have never considered this question. Does your apostle have deceitful mouth and perverse lips? I'm asking. You answer.